Vice President Lai Qingde visited Xinju's Baoshan Second Reservoir Friday morning to inspect its water supply. Coincidentally, it had rained heavily the night before, causing flooding in many of the nearby areas. Lai thanked Xinju's mayor and county commissioner for dealing with the flooding. He also stressed the importance of having a steady water supply for the Xinju-based semiconductor industry. He noted that nearly 2.8 billion NT has been invested in a pipeline that will connect Taoyuan's Shimen Reservoir to Xinju. <laughs> Following a night of heavy rains, Vice President Lai Qingde came on a trip to Xinju to inspect its second Baoshan Reservoir. He thanked the mayor of Xinju City, the TPP's Gao Hongan, and Xinju County Commissioner, the KMT's Yang Wenke, for their management of severe flooding. Taiwan in the future may be facing a situation where dry spells are drier than ever and wet spells are wetter than ever. We may be able to just complete our drought relief work and immediately launch into flood prevention engineering. So actually, this is full of challenges. If the pipeline between Xinju and Taoyuan is not completed early, there will be no water in the second Baoshan Reservoir and no water for Greater Xinju. That would definitely strike a blow at our technology industries. And if our tech industry is impacted, that would affect the whole world. All counties and cities need to work hard to restore operations. They should have combat-ready water wells. Lai pointed to the importance of the second Baoshan Reservoir to water usage in the Xinju Science Park. He added that close to 2.8 billion NT has been invested in a pipe to connect Sherman Reservoir with Xinju. What is most important is that with the areas earmarked for development in Xinju's technology industries, the first priority should be water, and the second is the problem of electricity. We also need to think about this problem. It's a really big one. If companies start using two nanometer processes to make chips in the future, water consumption could actually reach a daily 95,000 to 98,000 tons. If we add on daily demand for water in Xinju, Xinju city and county, the combined total would be 550,000 tons. So it's actually really necessary to make preparations for the future. The two Xinju leaders used the opportunity to appeal to the central government and express their hopes for even more subsidies to ensure a stable water supply for Xinju and its high-tech industry.